Welcome everyone to Trend Talks Life. I am your host, Erin Tomey, and today we're talking to Enablement and Readiness Program Manager at Trend Micro, Melanie Christofferson. Melanie, how are you doing today? Hey, Erin, I'm good. Thank you for having me. Of course, very happy to have you. I would love to just start with you sharing a bit about your role here at Trend Micro. Yeah, so I am, like you said, Enablement and Readiness Program Manager. And so what that means is my goal is to ensure that trenders, whether it's local or globally, feel enabled and ready to assist in their daily life with their customers or whether it's internal with other trenders. So we are constantly looking for what's coming out at Trend, what's new, those types of things, and getting it out to trenders to, like I said, allow them to be the best version of themselves with their customers and with other trenders. I love that, allow them to be the best version of themselves. That maybe you need that in the title somewhere. <laughs> okay, I'll remember that. <laughs> well, Melanie, you've been at Trend for over two and a half years now. And I actually think I remember one of the very first calls I had with you way back then. Um, so besides that call, what have been a few highlights for you? Oh my gosh, there's been so many things. Um, you know, two and a half years, kind of a short time coming from a different industry into the you know world at Trend, um, I would say one of the big things, and I know everybody says this, is the culture. The culture at Trend, which then allows to, when we have offsite meetings or um, meetings in the office, those types of things, just the pure, I guess, genuineness of other people at Trend who are wanting to make sure whether you're new or you've been here that you are comfortable um, included, which we'll get to, I'm sure, um, and those types of things. But the other thing that I love and have been surprised by at Trend is how we give back and our community um, projects that we've done, whether it's been at SKO or local, we had a new hire boot camp. I guess it, gosh, it was in October of 22. And we went to a food shelter and we delivered food to kids and different schools. And so just the way Trend gives back, but also, you know, how we are with our trenders inside. So I would say it's just kind of culture and our giving. Yeah, I think those are great highlights. It's kind of taking care of everyone on the inside, but also taking care of that community around us. It pairs very well with Trend. Yeah. So Melanie, during the month of March, we are celebrating International Women's Day, which lands on March 8th in 2024. And the theme of this year's International Women's Day is Inspire Inclusion. So starting with inspiration, where or who do you draw inspiration from? So inspiration, I think that's interesting that it's International Women's Day coming up and kind of talking to that now, because for me, I've had so many strong women in my life growing up whether it was my mother, my aunt, my sister. Um, but then coming into my professional world, I've come across several people and several women, um, and some have been here at Trend. So I draw inspiration from women or just people in general, I guess you could say, that are passionate, that they're passionate about what we're doing. And that may be what we're doing at Trend, that may be what they're doing at home with their friendships, those types of things. But I look for passion. I look for um, someone who is genuine, truthful, trustful. So I guess, you know, there's so many, there's a plethora of people who fall into that. But, you know, like I said, it would start with my mom or my sister. I love that you highlighted passion because I 100% agree that passion, if someone is passionate about something, they're probably gonna be hardworking. They will have the integrity because they care about that thing or that topic or that project or that person so much that they wanna give their all to it. So I think that is a wonderful place to start when looking for that, for that inspiration from those around you. Yes, yes, and we're so fortunate. Um, you know, I keep referring to trend, but we have so much of that. And I know our industry typically is predominantly male, but we're seeing so many more women. And of course our CEO is a female. So it's just phenomenal to see women coming into our industry and not only leading it, but leading by example and leading with that passion and that trust and genuinity. So looking at the other half of the theme inclusion, 
What does being inclusive mean to you and how do you work to foster that environment on a daily basis? Yeah, so that one's interesting to me because I think as I've gotten older, which I know we're not supposed to talk about, um, I've really started paying attention to that and trying to be mindful about it. I mean, it's apparent inclusion to be included, um, but I think it goes so much further than that. I think we have to truly actively listen to the person we're talking to or working with, whether it's at work or in our personal lives, I think we generally, I mean, we have to actively hear what they're saying. Some people, we have to be a parent. And if you can read somebody, pay attention to their body language. Are they uncomfortable? Are they typically someone, if you might know them, are they typically someone who's going to stick to the corner of the room? If so, you know, do we bring them in and try to force them into a situation? No, probably not. We would probably separate ourselves to go to where they feel comfortable. Um, a big term I've always liked to use is start where the person is. So if you start where the person is, and like I said, truly listen and understand about what they're feeling in that moment, that day, that period of life, whatever it might be, I think it's just very, it's a simple thing to do as long as you just like I said, actively listen. I think respect is a huge part of it. I think we have to maybe not understand where they're coming from or totally agree necessarily, but we have to respect them. We have to respect what they're putting out there. I love the idea of meeting the person where they are. And I've never heard it explained that way where if you have someone who's maybe more introverted, they're off on their own, instead of trying to bring them in, take the time to just go go over on your own at first, or maybe you have one other person that goes with you and kind of gently bring things to them, you know, person by person, as opposed to forcing them into something that they might not yet be comfortable with, especially if they're meeting new people, they're joining a new team. It can be very overwhelming, especially when starting a new job, you're drinking from the fire hose and everything's coming at you at once. So. And it, you know, like I said, and just um, not everybody, especially when you have a big group of people in a room, like, you know, we were just discussing, but even if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, really just trying to understand that person. And, um, you know, I'm a very curious person. I'm going to ask questions, but I always try to, like I said earlier, be respectful about my questions. And sometimes I may even lead with, you know, I don't really understand X, Y, Z, help me understand that. Or what I hear you say is, you know, just that way you're able to understand, but really make sure, you know, that everybody feels safe um, and that it's in a trusted environment. Melanie, I have really enjoyed speaking with you today. Thank you so much for joining me here on Trend Talks Life in celebration of International Women's Day. I hope you have a wonderful month of March. Yes, thank you, Erin, and thank you for all the work that you do with these, but especially the ones in March. That way we can little, learn a little more from our women here at Trend Micro.